It's happened again. You'll notice the inverter is not lit up. It is not making any whirring noises. The sun is glorious. It's doing a call. Um, I'm not going to slate them too much. I'm going to let them. It's a two year warranty. It's been on the wall for eight months. Um, I have been in touch. I've got a chat going on at the minute. Um, he's asking me to test out all sorts of things. It's dead. Batteries are fully charged, even when it was on the, the grid. No grid bypass, nothing. Um, so eight months, yeah. It doesn't really pay to go cheap, does it? Balls. So at the moment, <laughs> I'll take you through to the office. We're uh, trying to get the grow what, uh, put the motherboard in the grow what, and we'll see if we can get that one working today. And then this one, it's a new unit or send us our money because there's no there's nowhere I can send it because it, we bought it direct from uh, the website it got shipped from Germany but they don't have dealers so yeah 370 euros down the drain I don't think they do this model anymore either all right let's have a look at this grow what new motherboard is there Hello, the way, Peppy. <laughs> Old one is in there. So I've taken that circuit board off it so far. Um, I've just got to keep taking bits off until we get to the bit down the bottom there. Because it's a bit technical, I was going to have the camera over and video it. Um, but I can't do it because it's just going to get in my way. And I need to concentrate on what I'm doing, really. Um, just take plenty of photos so that I know how it goes back together <laughs> and uh, yeah I'll hope for the best so when I get it all the new one in and everything cleaned up um, I'll be back with you I'll, I will put some pictures on here so that you can see it as I'm going through I've got Pal Mister on there at the minute they want me to take all the cover off the inverter now and check this and check that oh I just said I'm not a technician. I don't mind, obviously, I'm fitting a motherboard to this grow up, but that was out of warranty. They've supplied a new motherboard, fair enough. I could have sent it off to have it fixed, but it was shipping backwards and forwards. They would have charged me labour because it's out of warranty. This one, eight months old. Why have I got to strip it down and test it and this, that, and the other? It doesn't fucking work. Anyway, I'll deal with that in another video. All right, I'll crack on with this and uh, we'll be back with you shortly. I'm not connected up yet. Just wanted to make sure it's working all right. This is what I've been trying to explain with these grow what inverters. There's absolutely no load on that at all. All I've got connected to that inverter is the battery and that's powering the inverter up. Um, when I got it on the wall last night, I'm sorry I didn't video most of it because it is, it was, it's not involved, but it's quite technical and I needed to know what, think what I was doing. So um, yeah, I've got some pictures that I've put on um 
it's not going to be a how-to video, but it's uh, so far, fingers crossed. Anyway, five o'clock last night, battery plugged in. It's communicating with the battery perfectly, a lot easier than the PAL Mister. Um, with a little bit of drama with that, but this one, plug it into the CAN port on the inverter, the CAN port on the batteries, it's working perfectly. Now that was at 99%. Now I left the inverter running overnight and 10 o'clock this morning, so 17 hours, it's pulled the batteries down to 83% with no load on it whatsoever. That is just the inverter. Um, which is why they're not ever so efficient. You, I think to get the maximum efficiency out of these inverters, you sort of got to be running them at about two kilowatts. Um, obviously that's the sort of like peak efficiency and then it sort of goes off as it, it's low to start with, then it goes quite efficient and then it drops off as you get higher up to nearly five kilowatts. Um, I'm just gonna plug in the um, solar panels so we can charge these batteries back up. And then after the Hobbit's been out, I'll um, swap it all back to to the house and we will see what see what happens. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> right, let me get these um, solar panels plugged back on and uh, I'll be back with you, show you what's going on. So the PV's connected. And it's charging. That's uh, how many watts are coming in. So that's your watts off the panels. That's the battery. Five point nine amps off the panels. That's our total on this inverter. And that's the volts off the um, panels. That's the date, obviously. Yeah. So far, so good. Um, it's charging the batteries up now. Uh, it's got up to 87% already, um, so it's not gonna take long. So when Tina gets back from the pharmacy, I'll shut all the power down, everything, and we'll get everything connected back up, grid feed into the inverter, inverter to the house. And um, yeah, fingers crossed. Just got to get this power mister one sorted out now. If you can hear that glorious sound, that is money coming into the house. <laughs> I will flip the camera around and show you what's coming in. It's making a bit of a row at the moment, so let's have a look. Sorry about the reflections. So that's the battery voltage. We've got a bit of a load on at the minute. That's uh, volts coming in, so 256 volts DC. That's the battery percent, we're at 81%. This is what we've generated in total since we've had the inverter. So it's, it's taken up where it left off last time. 9.9, .9, amps coming off the panels. There's 20 odd amps going into the batteries. So we've got 3,300 watts coming into the house. Uh, have you put the kettle on solar? It's all right, because we're only at 3.7. So we've got the hot water on, and the kettle, fans, fly lights. So the load on the house at the minute is 3.78 and we're bringing in 3.3 thereabouts. So it's just pulling a little bit out of the battery and that's just other things. And it's at 32 degrees. Now I have stuck some sort of like fine mesh, which is coming unstuck over the dust over the vents in a bid to um, stop a lot of the dust so it's a two thumbs up we've got the grow watt working again i have now got the pain in the ass job of getting this pal mister sorted out it was only on the wall for eight months and it's just kaput um two year guarantee on it and they are just being they want you to diagnose and do everything for them. It's like, because you buy it from them direct, it comes shipped from a warehouse in Germany. There's no technicians or after sales. It's crap, basically. You do get what you pay for. Um, obviously this Grow Watt was a bit more expensive. It is not as efficient as the Power Mister. I will say that, 
you know, we dropped 16% on the battery overnight just for having the inverter switched on with no loads whatsoever. Um, and so in 17 hours, we pulled the battery down 16%. So it's not brilliant. Obviously overnight we have the fans on and stuff. So it is what it is. But yeah, that's the Grow Watt is back up and running. Hopefully it'll carry on for another two years. <laughs> Anyway, I'm oh, sorry, it's not going to be a how-to video, this one. Um, but, yeah, there you go. It's on the wall. Brand new motherboard fitted. It's working. It's doing the job. It's powering the house. Uh, I will do a bit of a sit-down video and just go over how much um, we have saved. It's reflecting in my glasses. How much money we've saved since we've had solar and just going to some costings and stuff in another video. So keep your eyes peeled for that one so anyway catch you next video bye for now